Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pearl Izumi Amphib Light Cycling Gloves. Cool weather cycling gloves usually sacrifice dexterity for warmth as insulating materials can be bulky. Pearl Izumi's Amphib Light Gloves are a midweight glove that claims to have no trade-off as it utilizes high-tech materials that don't affect handlebar grip. As you can see, you have simple packaging with that Pearl Izumi branding on a little cardboard backing, the suggested temperature range, and some of the features highlighted on it. You can see it's attached to this using just a little fabric pull. So you just simply pull this and then guide it through the little fabric hoop to take it off the cardboard. So in terms of specs, this comes out to about $55, so pretty affordable for a pair of colder weather cycling gloves. These are mid-weight, so they're designed to be used between 30 to 55, so cooler weather such as spring riding or early mornings. They have Prima Loft gold insulation. That's one of the keys to these gloves and how they're able to keep you warm without being too bulky. They also have BioViz reflective stripes, so you can see along here. These are actually reflective, so they keep you visible and they're right on the knuckle, so they're visible from the front. They also have touchscreen compatibility. So as you can see here, you have the little indicator for the power and this has a nice little microfiber construction which means you can actually interact with touchscreens or touchscreen GPS computers. They also have a synthetic leather palm, so you can see it provides nice warmth and grip without being too thick or insulating from the actual handlebar feel. As far as what comes with them, obviously just get the gloves. You get a little Permaloft informational pamphlet attached to the fabric strap. The Amphib Light Gloves take Pearl Zumi's Winter Amphib Gloves and slim them down for cool weather conditions such as early fall or spring riding. These gloves share many of the high-tech materials found in the Amphib Gloves, but they're optimized for the 40 to 60 temperature range instead. Pearl Zumi offers these in two different color schemes, the all black that we have here, as well as a black and tan that has tan along the knuckle and tan on the palm. The main color on here is essentially the red fabric pull here on the middle finger and then you have the biovis stripes along the knuckle region so it's a perfect position so when you're riding this will actually be visible to oncoming traffic it's also different colors of black you have the black on the synthetic leather and then black on the other polyester portions of it as well one of the key technologies of this is the 60 gram prima loft gold insulation so that's what keeps this warm, but still pretty thin. So it's pretty nice, you can see. It almost feels more like a summer glove rather than a mid-weight glove. Starting at the wrist, you can see it has a simple elastic wrist strap. So you can see this is expandable. And then you also have a Velcro strap here, which makes it easy to adjust the fit. Once it's on, you can see you have an extended wrist as well. So you can actually hide your long sleeve jersey or jacket under on top of it to keep you nice and warm. You can also see you have a nice soft inner lining. So if we look on the inside again, it looks more like fleece and feels really comfortable to the touch while giving you that wind protection you need from that wind chill that hits your hand when you're riding your bike. On the palm, you can see most of this is the AX Suede Lorado synthetic leather. So you can see how that leather texture has a nice soft feel to it that's a little bit grippy and you can see it extends on the entire palm and then along the top side as well so again that's what's nice about this glove you can see it feels thin and then when you're actually wearing this it's nice and flexible so it's not very bulky you can see there's no seams here as well so one piece and then you just have a couple seams on the thumb and where the other materials are used some of the nice features of this are the micro suede along the thumb so you can see nice and soft here and along the back so you can wipe away sweat. And you also have touchscreen compatibility, which is nice. So you can see the little power, sum, power button symbol. So you can use this finger and the thumb on your touchscreen so you can swipe between screens, use your phone, and, all, and do all that without taking off the glove. The other cool feature here is the red fabric loop. This is actually used to take off the glove, so you can just grab this and then pull. So it's a little bit easier than trying to take it off by kind of pulling along the glove in different areas. So kind of an interesting feature. Also, ProZoomies included the BioViz, which is a feature they have on a lot of their products. 
So you can see pretty cool, nice reflective stripes along here. I'll keep you visible in low light conditions. Here you see a nice 360 shot of the Amphib gloves paired with the Pearl Zumi Attack cycling kit, which we've also reviewed on the channel. There's a lot of Pearl Zumi items. You see everything fits really well. This is a size large glove and you can see it's nice and long so you can actually tuck it underneath or above the sleeves of your jersey or jacket. You can also notice that the reflective stripes on the front of the gloves actually stand out even during the day, which is a nice feature. So it's pretty important to stay visible, especially when you're using black cycling apparel. The little red cuff on there, the pull tab is also visible. It's kind of a feature we found to be a little bit more frivolous. When you're taking off the gloves, you just pull them out. You don't really use that little pull tab, but it does give you a little pop of color. Overall, we're impressed with the gloves. They're nice and comfortable. Unlike a lot of winter gloves, it's not overly thick or overly padded, so you still feel your handlebars, you have great dexterity. And while they're warm, they're not overly warm, so we're able to ride with them between the 40 and 60 degree temperatures and even up to 65 if you do a really long ride and come back in the afternoon. So a nice pair of versatile gloves that keep you fully protected with the full finger design, so it keeps out the wind chill, but it's not overly warm. So a great option, especially if you do a lot of early morning rides or you want something really versatile. Now let's compare the Amphib gloves with other gloves on the market. Here we have the Lizard Skins Monitor 3 Season. So they're also a mid-weight glove and you can see you have that same synthetic palm. You have an elastic wrist. And then you have the nice wind resistant material on the backside. Obviously it's been worn quite a bit and washed so you can start to see some of the fabric is starting to fade. That's something we expect with Pearl Zumi too, especially if you ride a lot. But otherwise, they're quite similar. The nice thing about the Pearl Zumi is a little bit warmer than the Lizard Skin. The Lizard Skin is a little bit thinner, so you have less protection, but this one just feels a little bit more substantial. But it's still quite flexible, and you can see even though these are brand new, they still have quite a bit of flexibility, so you don't have any discomfort on the bike, and you can still feel the handlebar. If you really need warmer gloves though, you'll need some thicker gloves. We have the, the Velocio Winter Gloves here, so these are really nice. Quite a bit more expensive and you can see they have this nice kind of fleece lining on the interior. So almost like a fur material on the inside. And these are super warm, so definitely designed for lower temperatures. You'll want to ride this in 50 or 60 degree weather. And you can see they're quite large as well. The color on these obviously will start to fade as well. So as you do a little roadside repairs, you get a little grease. So it's hard to keep them while the all black of the Pro Zumi will stay looking fresh over time. Now let's go over the pros and cons of the Amphib Light Gloves. What we like about them is that they're soft and flexible. A lot of different materials are used. So you have great dexterity and all the insulation is very thin. So you don't have any of that bulk you traditionally have with winter or cold weather gloves. You also have great grip with these. So the textured bottom with the suede lets you really grip the handlebars and feel everything while still having the durability to last over multiple miles. The main negatives with these gloves is the fact that the touchscreen use that little touchscreen material on the on some of the fingers can be really hit or miss so it kind of works on our phone but doesn't work on a gps so you might have to take off the gloves to actually operate them taking everything into account would give the amphib light gloves a 9.2 out of 10. it's a really nice versatile and comfortable gloves that work in almost any weather condition thanks for watching this review don't forget to like and subscribe you can see more content from us on our website at thesweetcyclist.com as well as follow us on instagram at thesweetcyclist this is the sweet cyclist reminding you to enjoy the ride